we have loopholes in our legislation. We don't have the offense of subversion, secession, or laws against local terrorism, or laws against uh, foreign and external interference. So we need to block these loopholes in our legal system. So every country has a right to protect itself. The U.S. have at least 20 statutes targeting um, espionage, you know, national security, interception, external interference, you know. It is common for countries to have a full range of the necessary legislation. And the events in Hong Kong in the past year, pretty violent and pretty dangerous, clearly show that there are national security threats to China, to Hong Kong, and there are internal security issues in Hong Kong. So uh, to object to mainland China taking actions to protect her, herself as well as to help Hong Kong restore order is totally unreasonable. Western media and, lo and a lot of Western politicians have been spinning a fake narrative about what's been happening in Hong Kong. They have romanticized lawbreakers like Joshua Wong, Nathan Law, you know, um, Martin Lee as uh, freedom fighters, you know, democracy advocates. But what they have done in Hong Kong is really to suppress other people's rights and freedoms, to damage property and to tear apart the social fabric of our society. So Western media and a lot of Western politicians have shown, displayed a highly biased an unfair view of Hong Kong, which we really need to keep rebutting. The death of one country, two system has become a cliche. The foreign media has said that time before 1997, Fortune magazine forecast the death of Hong Kong, but we have always bounced back. I think the past few decades, you know, because of Hong Kong's reunification, reabsorption into China, many have predicted that our separate lifestyle, separate systems will cease to exist. In fact, in the past 40 years, there have been many crises of confidence and brain drain, you know, uh, people trying to emigrate. You know. But those who left have all come back. The money which left have come back. Hong Kong continued to be prosperous and successful despite some short-term setbacks. So I believe that in spite of some short-term worries about this new legislation, with the nation's backing for Hong Kong, we would be able to bounce back economically, socially, and internationally. Many of them have been brainwashed and misled into thinking that um, the central government has been suppressing our rights and freedoms. On the other hand, if you look at the situation in the British era, they did not start promoting democracy until they were about to hand Hong Kong back to China. And the part, in the past 23 years, we have made much more progress in expanding universal suffrage than in the 165 years of British rule. So Beijing has actually been more liberal to Hong Kong than the previous British rulers. Uh, but a lot of Western politicians and media have been promoting the narrative that Beijing is holding back democratic development, uh, despite the fact that uh, it is clearly stated in the basic law that our democratic development must proceed in accordance with the provisions in the basic law, that is, in a gradual and orderly manner, and in the light of the actual situation, which are very reasonable. So I think, again, a lot of unfair allegations have been leveled at Beijing and at Hong Kong. The allegations of police brutality against Hong Kong is the most unfair part of, the, of their allegations, in my opinion. Because if you look at Hong Kong, you know, Despite a whole year of pretty violent protests, you know, our police have not fatally injured anyone. Not a single person has been killed by our police. On the other hand, recently, three policemen, uh, as soon as they got off duty, have died of exhaustion. 
and one innocent bystander had been killed with a brick by the protesters, and one innocent uh, worker has been set on fire. You know, our policemen have adhered to the principle of using minimum force. You know, our policemen are much more restrained compared to the much cooler and cruder policing methods of American and even European policemen.